Hello friends, today we talk about the S charts. In the previous lesson, uh, we create an R chart to monitor process variation uh, within subgroups of size 5. For small subgroup size, the range is typically a good estimate of variation. But in many of our applications, we have more data available to us and can make uh, can take larger subgroup sizes. Uh, when subgroup size is uh, greater than 8, we should use standard deviation to estimate variation. So how do these two statistics differ? How can we monitor standard deviation with a country chart? Recall the standard deviation uses all of the observations in a data set to estimate variation. In this section, we'll use uh, each subroot standard deviation to create an S chart. An S chart graphs the, date, the standard deviation of each subgroup of data in a time order, like an R chart. The S chart allows us to monitor changes in process variation over time. Uh, to illustrate, consider the, the engineer team at ABC Company. The engineer wants to know if the path dimension of a production line is in control. At the production line, hundreds of paths are produced each day, so the engineer can reasonably collect large subgroups of data. The engineer decides to sample 15 paths each hour for 20 hours and measure the dimension of each part. The resulting data data set consists of dimension data for 20 subgroups of size 15. Here is the data from first hour of subgroup 1. The standard deviation is 1.406, and this is the first point on the S chart. Here is the subgroup 2. The standard deviation is uh, 0 0.594, and this is the second point on the S chart. Continues this uh, for the 18 remaining subgroups and then we can uh, we connect the point And next, we draw a center line and the control limit. The mean of the 25 subgroup standard deviation is 1.237. We call this value S bar and plot our center line here. This is our, uh, is our, uh, our estimate of within subgroup variation. Now we add a control limit. Uh, for the part dimension, the upper control limit is uh, 1.944 and the lower control limit is 0 0.53. These limits show the amount of variation expected uh, uh, for the subgroup standard deviation. And here's the formula to calculate the upper and lower uh, control limit. Okay, so we can use the add chart to determine if process variation is in control within the sample uh, subgroups. Remember, a process is out of control if any points fall outside of the control limit or if a pattern is evident in the uh, <coughs> control chart. We can use the add chart 
to determine if process variation is in control within the sample subgroup. Remember, a process is out of control if any points fall outside of the control limits or if a pattern is evident in the control chart. So here, here are some examples. So based on the S chart, is within subgroup variation in control? Okay, so we can see here. Okay, so yes, because no sample standard deviation deviations are outside of the control limits, and no pattern uh, patterns exist, so the within uh, subgroup variation is in control. Notice that the edge chart contains no subgroup standard deviation values beyond uh, the control limits and no clear patterns in the data. So based on this, we can conclude that the process is in control with respect to the variation within the subgroups. If the within subgroup variation is a, in a process is out of control, the edge chart will show evidence of assignable cost variation in the process. For example, look at these edge charts for two out of control processes. Uh, which process is out of control because there is unusually high variation in some subgroups? So A is a correct answer. Uh, the points above the upper control limit indicate uh, unusually high variation in these uh, subgroups. In this uh, chart, uh, subgroup 7 and uh, 18 have much larger standard deviation than expected. We should investigate the, pro, uh, pro, the production process further to determine the precise cost. So what about this chart? This chart shows a sudden certain shift in standard deviation. There is an unusual source of variation in this process. Perhaps a different parameter was put in place at a group 10. We need to look more closely at the process to find out where this shift comes from. Let's review. The edge chart plot sample standard deviation for the uh, for variables data in subgroups over time. We use the edge chart to determine if within subgroup variation is stable over time. In general, edge chart edge charts are appropriate when the subgroup size is greater than eight. By looking for points that are outside of the control limits and patterns in variation, we can use edge charts to help us spot unusual sources of variation in our processes. Thank you for listening. In the next lesson, we'll talk about the ice bar charts.